Right guys, it's GameTube. In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure the Logitech Steering Wheel so you can play the game with ease. So guys, we're going to click over to Options, Controls, Force Feedback, click on here, then we're greeted with this screen. So, Steering Angle, we're going to put it to 900, Behavior, Faster if needed, um, Inverted Axis, leave that off, Linearity 1, Dead Zone Rest 0, dead zone and zero force feedback configuration enable you need to check that inverted check that strength put it to 300 steering lock strength 50 percent side acceleration strength 10 percent reduce strength while parked tick that on use logitech features that's on as well um logitech sound strength 100 percent smoothing 100 percent automatic secondary smoothing tick that on update limit automatic update type fast then we're gonna use the response correction curve so guys for that you need to use the lut configuration which i'll show you what you have to do on that so let's head over to that so guys we're gonna head over to race department to download the lut generator this will allow you to calibrate the wheel so you could play properly in beam ng so once you've downloaded it um you'll have two files so you got a wheel check and a LUT generator. So we're gonna start off with the wheel check. So guys, once we've opened the wheel check program, we're gonna see this screen. So we're gonna head over to Spring Force, click on Step Log Two Linear Force Test. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna calibrate the wheel, and then it's gonna give us a file that we could put in the game folder. So it's gonna take roughly like two minutes or something, and then it's gonna give us a file. So guys, once you've used the wheel check program, you're going to head over to the LUT generator and then you're going to locate a file that's just been created by the wheel check thingy. So it goes into your documents and then you click on the log thingy on here and then you name the file to save it. So you could just call it anything. I'm going to call it wheel. So uh, click on save and then it spits out this correction curve. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy the file into the game folder so that the game knows the correction curve so guys once we've created the file we're gonna head over to documents and then we're gonna go to the file and rename it um you need to change the file extension because the game only recognizes csv files so what you gotta do is rename it and change the extension to csv so once you've done that you're gonna copy that file into the bmng game folder click over to latest and then click on to settings input maps and paste it on here so guys once you've created the correction curve thingy and you copy it over to the game folders you're going to come back into the game and you're going to use response correction curve you're going to click that on and then your curve is going to come up so this is going to allow you to play the game with ease. 